to Storm Team Forecast. Welcome back. We are hanging out with meteorologist Carson Vicroy for a look at the forecast. Uh huh. Hey, Carson. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, it's cloudy. Yeah, I know. And you know what? I really like the cooler weather, but for uh -huh. some reason, this like cloudy weather that we're seeing yeah. is making me kind of tired. It affects your mood, doesn't it? It does. I'm kind of like just kind of in a wall, like yeah, mm, just lazy. Well, I don't feel like doing anything. You know, I'd be I'd be willing to negotiate with mm -hmm. Mother Nature if mm -hmm. we were having a little bit of rain with the clouds. Yes, yes, that's but, what we need. The clouds I mean, to be full of rain, but it's just cloudy. Yeah. I mean, cloudy. Is it, you can get outside in cloud cover. I'm not complaining about that, but again, we want to see the rain right now. I mean, that would cancel outdoor plants and it would put a dent in the drought. But hey, beggars can't be choosers here. We are still seeing a warm day. We're not going to see a cool down until this guy gets a little closer to our area. That's right. That's a cold front off to our north and to our west. It's dragging its feet right now and will not arrive until tomorrow night. Otherwise, temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. It's 70 in Palestine. 70 in Athens, we're at 69 in Longview, 67 is the current reading in Marshall. So the clouds today, they're going to kind of dim the light, which is all right. Temperature is still warming into the 70s because of how strong these winds are. Look at this red arrows bringing in that rich, warm Gulf air into our area, and that could lead to rain chances a little later on. But there are your 70s on the map right there. As we go into about 7 o'clock, still some breaks in the clouds. We'll see a temporary break prior to midnight and then after midnight by daybreak tomorrow morning. We're seeing additional clouds as our next disturbance moves in, maybe even a little bit of drizzle. So keep that in mind. You might want to remember that umbrella, even if you're leaving tomorrow when it's not raining, but you don't want to be caught off guard by one of these little showers in deep east Texas tomorrow afternoon. And here comes the line marches through the area at three o'clock Thursday, but it just rips through. Watch this front moves through. We are are drying out that northerly wind comes in and we're in the 50s by 7 o'clock Thursday morning and much cooler, much windier and of course much drier by Thursday evening there with that area of high pressure settling in. So here are those wind speeds right now 10 miles per hour. Why do I mention this to you? These red arrows, they're dragging in that rich Gulf moisture, setting the stage for some stronger winds, of course, and also warmer temperatures this afternoon. We're in the middle 70s for forecast highs. Lows will be in the 50s tonight, so not quite as cool. And over your next seven days, best chance of rain is Veterans Day morning. Does not affect the plans for Veterans Day afternoon. We're in the 60s without the rain, and we see plenty of sunshine Thursday afternoon through the weekend. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to KETK.com. Thank you very much, Carson. Well, snoozing, it's